Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Thursday, March 7th. We're going to take a look at Marvel today. So with earnings coming up, I thought we would come and see where Marvel might hit support or resistance, whether it booms or busts, and of course, some levels that it might hug if it does move relatively sideways. So zooming in here a bit, uh, Marvel's been pushing quite a bit lately. We see it, uh, big gap up here, speaking of earnings, uh, looks like that was a reaction a few earnings ago, 32% uh, to the upside, um, retraced, dipped back down, filled that gap, um, and then, you know, since it found itself there in the mid-40s, has risen up to 84, so still pushing today, so we'll see how much of the report sort of feeds or lines up with this really big percentage gain that Marvel has seen lately, or on the flip side, how much the market might feel that some of the report is priced in already, and maybe it will have sort of um, an odd or counter reaction to the earnings. Of course, that's all going to depend on what the earnings themselves say, so <laughs> um, that's probably the most important thing. Now, if it does move relatively sideways, 83.56 is the nearest in support level that I have, and 86.79 is the nearest in resistance level. Now, if it does pull back further, 80.50 73.53, see, just there's a little gap there, just so you're aware. 68.67, 66.12, and then 62.83. I didn't put in every single little level that is on the chart here. You know, there's probably a level around here at about 77, just shy of 78. Um, but I put in what I felt were the stronger levels or the strongest levels on the chart. And, um, you know, but just know that there's space in between so that we can easily read the chart, um, but that's going to mean that there are some more granular gaps, uh, sorry, some more granular price levels in there. Now, uh, if it does break through this 86.79, 90.37, and I know I have some more in here, I just got to be able to get them on the chart, 92.87, and then we're sort of in no man's land. So if it pushes past that, which is certainly within striking distance, right, um, and folks are interested, uh, just leave me a comment. I'll be happy to come back and take a look at it if it does put in some price action uh, outside of the bounds from which we've charted uh, for this earnings, which could certainly happen, like I said, but uh, let me know. Otherwise, I won't know that people want to revisit it. Now, we did have a recent trigger and fire in the TTM squeeze indicator here, setting off this push up out of the channel, which is where we find ourselves today. So again, we'll see if sort of the market sentiment feels that all of this hype or all of this push in price is warranted based on the earnings or if they feel that it's not. And of course, uh, the market will let us know for sure. Uh, now, if it does dip down, it might find some support around the upper bound of the channel, 78.55. If it does pull in to the mid-range of the channel right now, that's situated at 72.80, and the lower bound is at 67.00. Oh, five. Now, this channel, while well, I just read out those numbers, um, it is dynamic. So as a price action gets put in, it shifts and it moves. Okay, so just know that depending on when you're watching this, it might not be exactly where those levels are, um, but you know, by the time you see it. But we'll see if the TTM squeeze indicator with this, like I said, this trigger and fire that's already starting to play out, you know, what that kind of leads to. Is there more gas in the tank and the bulls can keep pushing it you know does it sell off and that this, and then this will sort of look um in the long run like a bit of a counter an initial counter move and then it gets you know a big push down we'll have to wait and see but um certainly a lot of enthusiasm from the bulls as of late um pushing the stock price quite high in a relatively short period of time so again it'll be interesting to see what the report itself says and then how the market um, reacts to it. All right, folks, I hope that your trading week has been going well. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.